simple recognition and resolution these are the two important ways of dealing with non-performing assets and this was stated by the Reserve Bank of India Governor Raghuram Rajan he did so in an exclusive conversation with DD News and Rajan while speaking to our correspondent Shama Mishra said that financial inclusion is an important challenge to be dealt with let's listen to him The Reserve Bank of India completes 80 years of its inception. We have the man himself, Raghuram Rajan, the Governor of Reserve Bank of India, to talk to us. Thank you for talking to us, sir. Congratulations, okay. first of all. 80 years and still standing tall. How would you uh, like to describe the entire evolution? Well, it's, it's a long time in the life of man, short okay. time in the life of an institution. Mm -hmm. There are 300-year-old central banks. But uh, look, we are... Uh, um, we're a young country and and I think that there is so much to do so I think we look back on the 80 years and feel uh, a sense of pleasure that the institution has stood tall with capability and integrity but uh, you know we have so many needs of the economy today and so we're trying to rejuvenate from the inside and hope that uh, you know it's uh, the next 80 mm -hmm. years we're looking forward to and also how what efforts RBI is taking for financial inclusion well we're very fortunate to have the Prime Minister mm -hmm. come for the conference along with the Finance Minister mm -hmm. the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh uh, of uh, Maharashtra and and also the governor but uh, the most uh, I think uh, uh, important challenge in front of us is to get everybody into the financial system and uh, my sense is that we have to try various things. Of course, the government with the Jandan Yojana, uh, as well as the new Mudra mm. Bank, is trying to move on both, uh, you know, uh, reaching the household as well as the small borrower. Uh, but we have to also work on creating new institutions. Mm. We are going to license the small finance bank as well as the payment bank. Uh, but also use technology because to reach the small person uh, you it's very costly unless you use technology in a in a in a clever way there are some banks which are already doing it mm -hmm. but what we need to do is facilitate that process uh, so new kinds of business correspondence new kinds of weight uh, way new kinds of traversing uh, of ways of traversing the last mile of uh, making sure that you can service these accounts at relatively low cost. Mm. I think that has to be the way forward and, and I'm, I'm glad to say there are many, many uh, experiments on and we'll see some of them succeed. Hmm. Also when we're talking about rate cuts, when RBI is doing the rate cuts, it is mostly seen the banks are not, uh, the consumers cannot have the, the benefit of the rate cuts because the banks are not doing it. So what is the main reason you are seeing as uh, the RBI governor, the why banks are not uh, implementing those cuts? And also now some banks are saying that if RBI cuts the CRR, then it will be beneficial for them. Well, I can't speak about uh, uh, policy going forward. I can just reiterate what we said in the last policy that, uh, you know, there will be a time lag between when we cut rates and when the banks cut rates. My sense is as the tightness in liquidity uh, sort of uh, uh, seizes, mm. March is usually a, ti mm. uh, 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 a tight moment, mm. that uh, transmission will start taking place. So I think, as I said in, in the uh, February review, it is a matter of time. Also for India, IMF Chief Christine Lagarde, she has said that she sees India, she's bullish on India. Also IMF has expected 7.5% for 2015-16. ADB, that has also forecast 7.8% growth rate for 15-16. Now, globally, India has become a bright spot. Do you think this is achievable and how? Well, I, I think uh, achievable depends on, um, you know, how your understanding of the new CSO mm. numbers, uh, uh, um, how that occurs. Uh, I think based on the numbers that they have put out, it clearly is achievable. Mm. Uh, and uh, what we need to really focus on is, forget the GDP numbers, uh, we need to focus on getting uh, our stranded projects back on track. We need to get infrastructure investment up. We need to get the uh, Aam Aadmi mm -hmm. more willing and confident about the future so that uh, he or she starts uh, spending. Uh, 
uh, with moderate amounts of debt rather than excessive debt. So if we put all these together, we will have sustainable growth, whether that's seven, six, eight, nine, doesn't matter. We need to just remove the impediments in the way of growth and that's what uh, I think we're all engaged in. Okay, now you answered that. I'm tempted to ask you, what would be your uh, reaction? It's a, it's a late question, but what would be your reaction for the budget? Uh, reaction, I think we've already expressed uh, there are a number of important medium term mm. uh, sort of uh, measures mm. that are in there which I think will help uh, you know uh, the, the process of sustainable growth. For example, uh, on structural reforms there's the point about bringing in a bankruptcy code. Uh, there's of course the mm. talk about GST which is going to be yeah. very important. All these measures, I think, put together will help the longer run uh, growth of the country. So mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of optimism built into the, uh, that, that is created by the budget. Okay. Let's talk about problems now. Mounting NPAs, bad loans has always been a concern for the entire nation. What is RBI taking, uh, what measures RBI is taking to deal with them? And also I would like to ask you, what are the key problems that RBI is seeing? Well, I, I think this is the value of looking back 80 years. Mm. What you see is that we've seen such situations before, 2000, early 2000s. We had uh, NPS which were significantly larger in the system. But that doesn't mean we can be complacent now. We certainly have to work on cleaning up. And our, uh, our um, uh, sort of attempt is, is really a two-pronged strategy. One convince the banks to recognize the problems quickly. Mm. Because the sooner you deal with the problem, the less it becomes a festering sore. It can be cleaned up and dealt with quickly. Mm. So convince the banks to look at it quickly, even while giving them more leeway to deal with the problem. So for example, SEBI mm. uh, just came out with uh, regulations allowing banks to convert at a reasonable price into equity. We were of course working with SEBI to make this happen. Mm. And the fact that it's finally happened will give banks an additional tool. And we've given them a variety of tools over the last, uh, uh, last uh, uh, you know, few quarters mm. to deal with the bad loan problem. So deal with it, but also we give you more power to deal with it. And going forward, as growth picks up, hopefully uh, uh, the problems will, will uh, get alleviated. But it, it's something that is work in progress. Have we seen the peak of the bad loans? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, we still uh, can't say we're out of the woods. Okay. Uh, lastly, any new strategy RBI is coming up with? Typically, uh, you know, you, if you read the papers on a daily mm. basis, we're announcing changes. Mm. So uh, reform is yeah. an ongoing thing mm. at the RBI. I mean, if you see uh, what has been happening, uh, over the last so many quarters, you will see a tremendous movement mm. uh, forward. So the RBI is not a static institution, but we don't right. pick one day to announce mm. all the all, all the changes. It happens on a continuous basis. No, like uh, if I'm a common person, I would be saying uh, 80 years and RBI is like still standing tall. So what new measures RBI is coming with? That's, that's my question. I mean, we've done a, a, a huge amount. Uh, we will do uh, a lot more. Uh, but uh, if you want to think about where the thrust area mm. is, uh, I think the thrust area as far as financial inclusion, which is a subject of the conference, is on bridging that last mile. Okay. It is can we make the payment system technologically more uh, efficient? And, and here there are lots of new uh, ideas that are going to be implemented over the next, next few months. So uh, I would say payments, uh, new ways of making payments, new ways of bridging the last mile, new ways of reaching that customer in the village. Uh, those are things that you should watch out for over the next next uh, few quarters. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us. Most welcome. That was Raghudam Rajan. He was saying that bridging the last mile that fi for financial inclusion, RBI is really taking all the necessary efforts, taking all the necessary steps to bridge the last mile and uh, bring the entire nation into the financial inclusion. Well, Preeti, that was an important interview. Uh, understanding the mind, really, of the man who is, uh, you know, heading our central bank and uh, the central bank over 80 years, he was describing almost everything about how, you know, it stood by with capability and integrity. Right, you're talking of the mind, understanding the mind there and he yeah. also instilled confidence and when that comes uh, from the RBI governor, right. it does shows that we are on the promising 
path or we are uh, promising enough and we are on the right track isn't it right absolutely all right on that note we're heading for a short commercial break stay with us we'll be back in a short while